Now, to conclude the debate, I call upon Roy Delonius. Chairman, respected elders of the jury, Jay. magnificent bellboy who wasn't paying attention to me, <laughs> dear comrades of the opposition, misguided, disrespectful, and understandably immature friends of the house. Yes, I am younger than you, sir. Good evening. What a debate. Now, before I'd like to close up this deep misunderstanding we seem to have, allow me to tackle what the previous speaker brought up. The PM and their whip brought up Emperor Palpatine and Luke's disrespect. Now, as a Star Wars fan myself, I'd like to remind that Luke fought on the behalf of his elder, Ben Kenobi, and the order that preceded the Empire. For those who don't know, they're here. Yeah. That's the storyline. <laughs> Second of all, he mentioned a creative force. I'd like to ask you, is rioting creative? You're here. I'd also You're like here. to ask. I'd also like to ask Stalin how his disrespect helped his country. I propose respectful reform instead of what they're proposing, which is downright violence. <laughs> Afterwards, the whip claims we're missing all the fun. I'm sorry. I fully, I believe we're having a bubble. Yeah. You're here. <laughs> I'm having a good time. Now, this debate has been a long one, ladies and gentlemen. And while I accept that human concentration and memory is limited, I do believe it is my duty to raise the finer points and more importantly, the larger picture that we have elaborated tonight. Yeah. I will give three things to the house. Actually, no, I'll leave it to one to save time. <laughs> I'll give it to you, you're consistent. Consistent in not only disrespecting their elders, but disrespecting all those present here today with their line of reasoning. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the second speaker, yes. Well, he didn't discriminate against elders or anyone. He threw everyone Shame. dark and <laughs> as, we'd like to, as we'd like to bring up, Stalin did disrespect who he threw in the gulags. I don't see how that's a good thing. I'm sorry. Now the second speaker, the second speaker, excuse me, the second speaker, and I quote. They are thinking for themselves, by themselves. <laughs> they are obedient to their egos. To us, respect is earned, hair. but it is given until you give reason not to give it. Hair, 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 hair. The third speaker calls it a driving force to disrespect, calls it progress. I'd like to remind that slavery also included elders, as we brought up. They are promoting stepping on others, disrespecting others' work for their own profit. Lastly, the third speaker also brought up a nice example, Emmanuel Macron. I'd like to know how he disrespected his elders. He married one. <laughs> The fourth speaker, and I quote, talked about a paradox. I'd like to remind that a paradox is a constant circular problem, which is what I see in the line of reasoning of the government. Okay. <laughs> he also talked about a personal relationship, disrespect as honesty. I'd like to make the difference between a joke and full-on disrespect. There's a difference, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I can't blame the house for such immaturity. As the youth of this generation, we have much to learn and a large responsibility on our shoulders. However, this is exactly why this motion is not only counterproductive, but downright dangerous for our personal and public development. This opposition has proven, hey. has proven that tonight. Point of information? No, thank you. I remind my friend Omar, who, say, who tells us that the good of the good that the elders have brought us and still bring us today, they are our mentors, our teachers, our parents, and our leaders. We, res we must respect their teachings. They are our past. My friend Antoine said respect is anchored in our very culture and civilization. Yes. Isn't the goal of a, teacher, of a teacher to just let a 
his student to realize by himself. Yeah. Yes, it and is. And so go over himself. Yes, it is. No. <laughs> Respect is anchored in our very culture and civilization. We are who we are today because of a culture and tradition raised by elders. We wouldn't be who we are today if it weren't for this. They are our present. Finally, Caroline told us that we are all elders at some point. We are not immortal or frozen in time. We are humans and we age. They have gone through this and understand this. It is our turn now to look forward and hope to achieve as much, if not more, than they have. They are our future. Yes. Do you think that feminism and gay marriage is also the work of our elders? Yes, it is. You're here. Our debate tonight can be resumed simply put, simply put as a matter of tradition versus progress or obedience versus respect. I don't understand this because they haven't made the difference between obedience and respect. They have made a generalization of the elders. They have, made, they have brought up a discrimination of said elders. They are slaves of recklessness and obedience of the ego. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I do not accept how this house considers what respect and consequentially disrespect is. I refuse to reduce respect to a simple definition as one redu re reduce love to a chemical reaction. <laughs> the philosophy is simplistic and heartless. Respect along with love, freedom and justice is one of the core values of not only our societies but our very species as a whole. <laughs> We will not disrespect our elders. We will disrespect no one. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I implore you, respect your children, respect your brothers and sisters, respect your elders, respect our humanity, and most importantly, respect yourselves. Vote against this motion. Respectfully yours.